Congratulations for choosing Digital Cable from Comcast. Hi, and welcome to Digital Cable from Comcast. You're using the finest home entertainment service available anywhere. I'm going to take you through all you need to know to get the most out of your digital cable. It won't take long, because not only does digital cable from Comcast bring you more entertainment options, it's also incredibly easy to use. You'll be amazed at how soon you'll be browsing through all the new choices you have with digital cable from Comcast. In a few minutes, this is going to be as familiar to you as the back of your hand. The fact is, a big part of what makes digital cable superior to regular cable is that it's so easy to use. For now, let's just get you up and running as quickly as possible. You'll get a glimpse of some of the advanced features, but mostly we'll stick to the essentials. The best way to learn, of course, is by practicing. So I hope you'll give it a try when we're through. This little number is the Comcast Digital Remote Control. It pretty much replaces this cable guy. It controls your TV, VCR, and one other device, such as a CD player. For now, let's watch cable TV. For that, you have to turn on both the TV and the cable box. Press cable, then press the power button. Now press TV, then press the power button again. Then press cable again. Or if your remote has this all on button, pressing it turns on both the TV and the cable box. Let's continue going down the remote. For now, let's ignore the setup button. I told you, I'm keeping this easy. What about the rest of the remote? The numbers here work the same as they do on any remote. So to go to channel 8, you'd press 8, then the OK Select button. So far, so good? If not, help is on the way. In fact, it's right in front of you. Just press this Help button. A message appears on the screen to explain whatever you're doing with the remote at the time the music or enter button. It's your source for music choice. But let's stay with the TV buttons for now. Let's choose a channel. How about channel 41? That's E Entertainment. Press 41 and OK Select. You'll see the program currently on channel 41, plus a bar at the bottom of the screen. The bar tells you the name of the channel you are watching, as well as the name of the program, and when the program begins and ends. The bar also lets you see what's on other channels or what's coming on later without missing any of what you're watching now. It's called browsing, and the bar is the browser bar. To browse, you use the OK Select button on your remote and four buttons around it that are shaped like arrows. The arrow above the OK Select button always moves you up to the next available selection. The arrow below moves you down. The arrow to the right moves you to the right and so on. Then, when you want to open or display the highlighted item, press the OK button on your remote. Let's see how those buttons work with the browser bar. To see what's on other channels, just press the up arrow. You'll see the next channel up. Press the down arrow, and you'll see the next channel down. Let's hit the down arrow till we find Sportsnet on channel 2. You can see the channel you are currently watching while you browse. Press the OK button, and Sportsnet appears on the full screen. To exit from the browser bar, press the exit button, and the bar disappears. To stay with your original program, even after browsing through your choices, just press exit instead of OK. If you want to keep browsing, who could blame you? Press the OK button and keep using the up and down arrows. Just as you can go up and down in channels, you can go forward and backward in time. The browser bar also shows the time. The arrows to the right and left correspond to arrows on your remote. Pressing the right arrow on your remote takes you forward in time on the browser bar, like this. Want to back up? Use the left arrow. Let's say you see a program you like, but it hasn't started yet. You don't have to remember it. Just press the OK button. Press the left arrow to highlight yes, then press the OK button, and you'll get a reminder just before the show starts. Or if you don't want a reminder, press the right arrow to highlight no, then press the OK button. The small letter I on any screen indicates there is on-screen information available about a program. Press the Info button on the remote to display the information. Press Info again to go back to the browser. There are some other buttons I haven't talked about, but you know what? You've pretty much got the hang of the important stuff. As far as I'm concerned, you're officially a certified digital remote user. Now is a good time to try the remote for yourself. 
it's really the best way to learn. And it's probably kind of obvious, but I'll be right here if you have any questions. I can tell by looking at you. Sure, you know how to use the digital remote, but you want more out of life. You want to get right to all the entertainment on your new digital cable from Comcast. You're in luck, because I'm going to take you on my famous whirlwind tour called All the Ways You Can Search for the Gazillion Entertainment Options You Get with Digital Cable from Comcast. Now, this is an overview of one of the most useful parts of your digital service, Navigator. Let's take a quick look at it. When we're through, take a minute to visit Navigator and see for yourself how easy it is to, well, to navigate. To reach Navigator, press the menu button on your remote. The three columns you see are Preview, Comcast Showcase, and Viewer Services. Each contains a number of options. Just as on other screens, you move around options by pressing the arrow keys on your remote to highlight specific options in yellow. Notice that the audio of the last channel you were watching continues to play. We don't want you to miss any of the excitement. Just press Exit if you want to see what's happening. We'll start in the upper left corner under the Preview heading. Let's highlight By Time. Then press the OK Select button on the remote. By Time shows you all the programs available right now. You see the channel number and name, the program name, and the start and finish times. For most programs, the small I is displayed, meaning you can press the Info button on your remote and you'll see a written summary of the program. Press Info again to get back to the By Time screen. Use your arrow keys to navigate down through the programs, or you can speed things up by pressing the Page Up and Page Down keys, which you'll find here. The button labeled Guide is a shortcut to buy time. How do you return to the Navigator or Menu screen? Easy. Press the Menu button. To go from Preview by Time to Preview by Channel, press the down arrow and then the OK Select button. Here's what's on the screen. All the programming for a single channel, starting with what's playing now. Let's press the Menu button again to get back to the Navigator screen. Now go down one option using the down arrow and press OK. Movies. Lots of movies, thanks to digital technology. You'll know they are movies because of the red bar. And they are all here. Sports is next, anytime, night or day. Not that I'd want to do this, but you could skip everything else and just watch sports. Sports programs are always shown on a green bar. Kids love this one, an option just for them. More kids programs than you ever knew existed here in one place. The kids programs always show up on an orange bar. And under Search, you can simply enter the first letters of the name of the program you're looking for. Like QVC, you'll go right to it. In the center column, Comcast Showcase, are all the premium, music, and pay-per-view channels. You know pay-per-view as Comcast Home Theater. Want to see what's coming up next on pay-per-view? Here's the place. Want to look up a movie by title? Easy. Special events have their own section. Boxing, wrestling, you'll find the big events here. Want to see what's on the premium channels you've purchased or what you're missing? Here they are. Music choice, CD quality sound, 24 hours a day, in whatever category you like. Jazz, rock, opera, heavy metal, easy listening, and it's all commercial free. You'll find a lockout feature for adult programs in viewer services, which is in the next column. Let's go over to that column now. At the top is messages. Check here often for messages from Comcast. Favorites lets you customize your channel lineup so you can browse through your favorite channels. Parental control is here. It lets you block children from seeing any program you want. Finally, setup lets you adjust the audio and video to suit your specific needs and tastes. I hope this overview gave you a sense of all of the resources available to make your searching easy. So relax, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here, I'm open 24 seven, and you can get my famous tour anytime you want. For now, why not take your own journey through Navigator? You'll have it down in no time. I'm here to help you make the most of your new digital cable from Comcast. Let's say you know where everything is on Navigator. What more could you possibly learn, you ask? Just watch. I'm about to show you just how much whiz-bang navigation you can do using Preview and the browser bar. Digital cable from Comcast actually gets you more information with fewer buttons. That's because the technology lets Comcast move a lot of information from this remote control to the TV screen, 
where it's much easier for you to read and interact with. And you won't need this cable guide to find what you're looking for. First, the browser bar. Unless you choose to disable it, the browser bar shows up every time you change channels. It tells you about what you're viewing and lets you see what else is on without missing any of your current program. Using the browser bar is a breeze. Pressing OK Select makes the browser bar appear. To see what's on other channels, just press the up arrow or the down arrow. Find a channel you like, press the OK button, and your new channel appears on the full screen. Press the exit button and the bar disappears. Exit always returns you to the channel you were watching. OK Select always makes the bar appear or disappear or select a new channel. You can also look forward in time. The arrows to the right and left indicate directions to search. The right arrow takes you forward in time, like this. Want to back up? Use the left arrow. Of course, Navigator can only take you back to the present. It can't show you what you've already missed. Now let's get some practice using the preview column on the Navigator screen. Pressing the menu button gets you to the Navigator screen. Use the arrows to reach the by time window and press OK Select. Here are all the programs that begin at a certain time. To see more programs, just press the down arrow. Speed that up by using the page up or page down button. Press the right arrow to go forward, press the left arrow to go back. Let's say you want to see what's on this time tomorrow without scrolling hour by hour from now to then. Just slide back this cover and you'll see the day minus and day plus buttons. To go forward a day, press day plus once. To come back a day, press day minus. You can search up to seven days into the future. Let's go back to the main navigator page by pressing the menu button. Suppose you're interested in seeing what is coming up on a certain channel. Highlight by channel, then press OK on your remote. You'll see all the programming scheduled for that channel starting now. Want to see what's on other channels? In preview by channel, the little box lets you travel through channels. The right arrow moves you up a channel. The left arrow, you guessed it, moves you down a channel. Let's say you get home and feel like a movie. Just scan the movie listings. Catch a feature already in progress or see what's about to start. With your new digital service, you'll have access to many more showings of premium channels. Sports, anyone? <laughs> you don't have to look far. They're all right here. Every game and every sports show. Children's programs are all gathered in this location, so you don't have to sift through all the channels to find something appropriate for the kids. It's so easy, even young children can use it. Sometimes you're dying to see a movie or program, but don't have a clue when it's playing. The search option lets you enter the first few letters of your choice. Highlight the space for each letter here, and use your arrow buttons to choose letters. Hit OK, then highlight the program you want. How about your premium channels? With your new digital cable from Comcast, your choice of channels has vastly expanded. Highlight premium, hit OK on your remote, and you'll see the expanded selection list. Just use the page down key to see the complete list of the premium channels available in your area. That's about it for preview and the browser bar. Why not take a little break, visit the navigator screen, and find your favorite program. If you need help, you know where to find me. I'll even repeat everything I've just said, word for word, whenever you want. that you're the kind of person who likes to stay on top of the newest movies or special events. So, let's take a look at finding and watching Comcast home theater programs. I don't want you to miss a second of the next show, so I'll go quickly. Digital cable from Comcast gives you many more opportunities to see exciting Comcast home theater features and see them at the best times for you. The options in the Comcast showcase column on the navigator screen make it real easy to find what you're looking for. Let's say you get home and you feel like watching a recently released movie. Just press the menu button, then highlight PPV by time on the screen, and press the OK Select button. Want to know more? Whenever you see the small letter I, just press the Info button on your remote. You get a quick to the point summary of the selection. Press Info again to return to the PPV by time listings. Want to see more selection? Navigate up and down the list using the arrows. Okay, now what if you know you'll be home a couple nights from now? The guide lets you search forward one full week to see what's on tap. Or maybe there's a Comcast home theater movie you're dying to see, but you don't know when it's playing next. Just look it up by title. You'll see exactly when it's playing. 
And if you don't know what you want to watch, select Watch Previews to see clips of movies and special events. Digital Cable from Comcast also offers exciting live special events that you won't want to miss. They're all here under PPV Events. The Comcast Home Theater features are so popular, we've included a shortcut button on your remote, enabling you to go right to the pay-per-view selection screen from any other screen. Simply press the PPV button on your remote. When you press the OK Select button for any highlighted Comcast Home Theater program, the Select Start Time screen appears, showing all the times that program is starting. You'll see the rating, and you'll see the amount you'll be charged for the program. You just call the number you see on the screen for that movie at that start time. You may want to control access to some or all of the Comcast Home Theater selections. With digital cable, no one can view any program on your TV that you don't want them to. It's easy to lock out viewers. Go to the next column and choose Parental Control. You'll be asked to come up with a code number and enter it. From then on, anyone trying to watch that locked program will have to enter the same code number you just entered. If they don't enter the correct code, they can't watch the program. Then select all the program ratings and channels you want to lock. You can block out individual movies and shows, block movies or programs according to their movie ratings or TV ratings, or you can block specific channels. Just specify what you want to block and press the lock button behind the sliding door on your remote. You can block any program individually from wherever you are in the navigator. Just highlight the selection and press the lock button on your remote. There's your look at Comcast Home Theater with digital cable from Comcast. More choices and easier too. Now's the time to check out the Comcast Home Theater program coming up. It shouldn't take you long. You're getting to be quite the expert at your new digital cable service. Digital cable from Comcast has a number of new features that go beyond anything you've ever seen before. If you've mastered the use of the remote and learned some of Navigator's features, you can make your digital cable from Comcast even easier still by customizing it to meet your needs. If you have a few minutes, I'll show you what I mean. Let's start with favorites. Everybody has favorite channels. Wouldn't it be great if only your favorite channels were on TV? Sure would. And that's exactly what you can achieve by pressing one button. Fave stands for favorite. Once you personalize your digital cable, pressing fave changes the screen. So only your favorite channels are displayed on the screens you use for selecting programs. Here's how to create your custom channel listing. Press menu on the remote. Choose favorites from the third column. Choose to view by channel name or channel number. Highlight your favorite channels and press the fave button on the remote for each one. The channels you select will turn blue and will display in blue in all listings. Press exit to go back to the TV screen. To show only your favorites in the browser bar, press OK to bring up the browser bar, then press the fave button. Press it again to see what's on your favorite channels. Use the arrow keys to see what's on the other channels. You can even make your favorite channels show up in the navigator. Press menu and use the arrow to highlight by channel. Press OK select, then press the fave button. Keep pressing fave to see only your favorite channels. You can also customize your digital cable to block certain programs. You may want to control access to some or all of the pay-per-view selections. No one can see anything you don't want them to see. It's easy. Go to the third column and choose Parental Control. You'll be asked to come up with a code number and enter it. From then on, anyone trying to watch that locked program will have to enter the same code number you just entered. If they don't enter the correct code, they can't watch the program. Then fill in all the program categories you want to lock. You can block out all programs with certain ratings. You can choose movie ratings or TV ratings. You can also block out certain channels. Just specify what you want to block and press the lock button in this compartment in your remote. Or you can block any program individually. Simply highlight the program and press the lock button. Reminder windows are another easy way to arrange entertainment to fit your preferences. Reminders allow you to create a customized viewing schedule days ahead of time. All you do is select programs that haven't yet played. The system keeps track of every single program that you select, reminding you just before each starts. For example, let's say you're planning an evening at home this Thursday and you'd like to see a movie. You can check the movie schedule for Thursday and select a feature. 
A screen will ask you if you'd like to be reminded just before the movie starts. All you do is choose yes, and you'll be reminded, just in time to make the popcorn. You can also set the audio and video to suit your needs. Press the menu button on your remote. Choose setup from the right column. Highlight the audio option and press the OK select button on your remote. You can optimize the high quality audio signal for your home theater system. Just use these settings. In some markets, you can listen to some programs in Spanish. Select Espanol in the audio setup. Your video settings shouldn't require any changes, but if you need to, you can adjust the position of the screen to fit your TV. On the setup page, select video. Then move the screen slightly in any direction until it is right for your TV. I'll bet you had no idea you could do so much customizing of your cable TV. Take a minute to customize your TV, set up your favorites, and arrange some reminders of upcoming programs. It's easy. Soon you won't know how you did without it. Digital cable from Comcast offers something that might surprise you, and you can't even see it. Crystal clear, CD quality, stereo sound from your TV. Talk about tuning in. Music Choice offers 40 different channels of commercial free music, day and night, seven days a week. The digital signal that comes into your home means the music you hear will be clearer and cleaner than anything you could receive by AM or FM radio. And it sure beats having to buy CDs. Over the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly how it works. There are two ways to access Music Choice. First, you could press the menu button, which takes you to the navigator screen. In the middle column, you could highlight Music Choice. Or, now that you're a pro, you've probably noticed that you could take a shortcut and press the music button on your remote. However you get to music choice, your choices are impressive. Scroll up and down the list using the arrow buttons. 40 channels of clear sound. We've been listening to the blues channel. How about some Musica Latina? Can you imagine finding 40 completely different stations on the radio playing nothing but music? Pretty much any kind of music you want? In the mood for some classical masterpieces? Highlight it and press the OK Select button. Classical masterpieces. After you make your selection, the screen goes black so you're not distracted from the beautiful music. Whenever you want to watch a TV program, just enter the TV channel number. Let's listen to some light jazz. Remember, the music is uninterrupted by commercials or DJs. As soon as one selection stops, another one starts. I didn't hear a DJ in there, did you? The choice really is extraordinary and is worth sampling, so you can get the idea how phenomenal music choice really is. Once you've been through the list a few times, you'll want to select some favorites. Press Menu on the remote. Choose Favorites from the third column. Choose to view by channel number. Use the page up and page down arrows to find your way to the music channels. Highlight your favorite music channels and press the OK button on the remote for each one. The channels you select will turn blue and will display in blue in all listings. Well, guess what? In just a few minutes, you've learned all you need to enjoy music choice. One of the great new features available with digital cable from Comcast. I think it's time to celebrate. A simple push of the arrows and you're waltzing. Or swinging. Or jamming. Thanks very much for watching. I've tried to give you a good look at how digital cable from Comcast offers more options and is easier to use than regular cable. Feel free to watch this over again to refresh your knowledge of any of the details. Until then, Please accept my congratulations on your new service, as well as your new expertise in using digital cable from Comcast. I hope you enjoy it for many years to come.